Hey, Penguin. Have you heard the latest news? What news? The US EPA has just released that from 1990 to 2019, the total warming effect caused by human greenhouse gas emissions has increased by 45%. Man, that's probably why it's been so hot nowadays. I read from NASA that greenhouse gases trap heat in the atmosphere. You, you know, if there wasn't any carbon dioxide, the Earth could be some 30 degrees cooler. Seriously, that's probably why the water's been rising lately. A whole melted glacier can cause a global sea level to rise by a couple of feet, you know. <laughs> but at this rate, it's probably because of all my sweat. Well, over here we're running out of water. Currently they say it's Eastern Africa's worst drought in 40 years. Oof, maybe I should move, huh? Whatever you do, don't come over here. I don't even know what my insurance can do against all the property damage going around. Every 40 hours, Antarctica loses a billion metric tons of ice. My wife and the kids are complaining because I've been too busy trying to repair the house these days. Oh, you want to know what my wife complains about? Everyone knows that the rising climate has caused male cheetahs, you know, to have lower testosterone levels and lower sperm count. But the wife insists on making excuses. Wait, if you can't satisfy her there, what good are you? Spare me the vertical penguin. You see, I got out of the way when I was a young spring penguin. That's the way to go, I'm telling How you. am I supposed to foresee that humans would burn fossil fuels, which produce greenhouse gases, and cut down trees for resources, which contributes to global warming, so that they can manufacture products, which causes climate change, or to have things like cars, which affects my manhood? Don't make excuses, old friend. Ah, but you should have heard the conversation I had with Turtle the other day. She's dealing with some serious species issues. Hey yo, what's up? Oh hey, turtle. Man, you've got to see what's going around in my area. Don't tell me it's because of all the climate change going on. Geez, spot on. Basically, the heat's caused all the new hatchings to be girls. How does that even work? Ah, it's because the temperature of the sand affects the gender of the babies, and higher temperatures have caused a lot of female newborns. Everyone's got their shells up in a knot because if this keeps up, who knows what'll happen. Man, that's pretty tough, huh? Yeah, we didn't think it could get worse after Timmy came home with a permanent plastic piercing. Wow, climate change is really screwing up the turtles, huh? Meanwhile, you should have seen what Hippo was telling me the other time. Hey, Cheetah, can't be on long. Oh, why is that? Well, you know, with the higher temperatures, it's been getting harder to stay out of the water. Oh jeez, you can't deal with a little heat. Hey, it's actually been a struggle. Hippos are mainly aquatic animals, so we aren't well adapted to high temperatures out of water. You know, I'm very vulnerable to drought conditions, which can cause dehydration and even oh. death. I mean, I got my droughts over here too, but hey, you know what? Good luck, Hippo. Hope you grow up here and are able to endure your harsh conditions. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, gotta dip. Man, we've gotta fix this climate change problem. I wish we could, but lots of scientists say nearly 100% of modern global warming is caused by humans. You're right, if only they stopped burning fossil fuels. And driving cars. And hacking out trees. You know, instead they could promote more clean energy and plant trees. I'm sure less waste and pollution would help. Well, hopefully we can turn the tide before I go bankrupt. And before I get a divorce. Ugh. <sighs>